Hello, welcome to this repair video of the right side of the Sony WH-1000XM3 headphones. Uh, specifically for me, the right slider component here snapped, so that's what we'll be repairing. But this video will cover how to repair anything from this outside panel to this hanger all the way up to the slider itself. Uh, whether it be the outside component or the inside component. First, let's start with the supplies that you'll need for this repair. I'm going to post links in the description to where you can purchase these supplies if you need to. First and foremost, we have a soldering iron. I use the AOU soldering station. This particular model is one of their cheaper models. I think it was less than 50 bucks. Um, I had a 100 plus dollar model previously, which worked great, but it burned out and I wasn't able to fix it. So I got this cheaper one and I've been using it for three years without any issues. It has a temperature setting from one to eight. And for this repair, I usually use about a three and a half. I'll also need some solder. I use Alpha Fry Rosin Core Solder tried about 10 different types of solder and Alpha Fry is by far the best that I've used. Um, I've tried lead free before but it just doesn't work nearly as good and it produces a lot of exhaust. So this one is a 60-40 blend. You'll need a small Phillips head screwdriver, a plastic pry tool, and also just a little bit of super glue. I use this crazy glue that has a, a brush inside of it, which just makes it easy to apply the glue. If you need this part or the right side hanger component, I will have links to those in the description, as well as links to all the other supplies that I mentioned. All right, let's get started with the repair. We start off by removing these cushions off of the headphones. You only have to remove the cushion on the pair that you're repairing, but I like to go ahead and remove both so I don't accidentally burn it with the soldering iron while I'm working. Next, we will go ahead and remove these four screws that are connecting the back of the headphones to the front. Now you can flip your headphones over and we'll take the back cover off. Carefully remove this touch panel connector from the motherboard and set to the side. Now we're going to gently remove this cable that's attached to the battery. Just leave it peeled back and you're going to want to take out the battery and to do this you'll need to pry from all four sides so you don't put too much pressure on the battery. You wouldn't want to warp it or damage it. Now we'll remove this black tape so we can disconnect the battery. Go ahead and disconnect the cord. Slide it out from under the clip. And pull the battery out. Our next step will be to desolder all these cable connections here. Now there's a lot of colors and it can be overwhelming at first. But I'm going to include a link to a photo where I have 
the order of all of these cables. So you don't have to follow along right now. You can reference that picture when you're desoldering and resoldering for the repair. Once your soldering iron is warmed up, you'll want to tin the tip by getting some of your solder and just melting it on the end of your soldering iron. Once you have a good coat on there, you're ready to desolder the connections. I like to start with the farthest cable to the right, and I just pull up with a little bit of gentle pressure while I desolder all the connections. Now we're going to remove these five black screws that are holding this component in place so that we'll be able to take the cable out from the shell. Once you've taken those screws out, there are two more screws that are securing the hanger in that we'll need to remove. Then you can lift up on the hanger and it should come right out. And slide it to the right and you have that part is connected. Keep this somewhere safe, you will need it soon. For this next part, we need to remove this plastic covering on the hanger to remove the cable. To do that, I have some tweezers that I use. You could also use a very small flathead screwdriver or anything sort of pry tool that you might have to remove it. Now you can go ahead and pull the cable through and out the top. The next step will be to bend the hinge and remove these two screws that are holding it in place. Once you've removed that, there are two additional screws that you need to remove. And then you've, once you've removed the component, you're done with the teardown. To start the repair part of this video, you'll need your replacement component, which for me was this back slider for the right side of my headphones. You'll need to thread these cables through the top part of the slider and just pull it through. And then there's a small screw that you'll need to attach onto the back part of this slider. Just get the screw lined up, go ahead and screw it in. This next step is my least favorite part of the repair, but it's necessary. Uh, in order to thread the cable back through this hanger, you need to disassemble this component here with the two screws. So we'll go ahead and start unscrewing these and we'll have to take this apart so that we can get the cable back through. Next you will remove these two tiny screws on the sides. Next you'll want to push out this little metal piece that's holding the this plastic swivel together. A 
Once that's out, take this little blue rubber band off, and then you can pry this up to take it apart. Now we'll be able to thread the cable right through the middle here. Set the cable into this swivel component. Take the cover and pop it back over. Once it snaps in, you can go ahead and thread this little blue rubber band over all these cords. Once the blue cover is in place, you need to screw in the two side screws. Now you'll want to get this inner component, the inner slider component, and we'll want to put these two silver screws that go through here and mount them into that component. Go ahead and screw the screws back in. And now you can slide this component up, attach it in place, and then you'll want to put in these two silver screws here to secure it in place. Once you have the slider put back together, I'd go ahead and extend it and slide it back and make sure it's working properly, which in this case it is. And then we'll go ahead and work on attaching this to the hanger component. You'll want to thread the cable through this circular piece. And it'll only fit on correctly one way, so you'll know which way is right. And please don't forget to put the metal holder back in place. Then set it into the hanger and use two of the black screws to secure it. Once that's secured in place, we'll go ahead and thread the cable through the hanger. Once the cable is sitting in there properly, we will put the cover back over the hanger. And this is where you'll use the super glue to secure this part in because in the disassembly, um, these little snaps often break off. So you'll need a little glue applied to there just to make sure that it stays secure. Secure the cover and put some gentle pressure on it for a few seconds to let the glue dry. The final step will be resoldering the cables into place, which really doesn't take that long. And please use the diagram that I'm attaching in the description of this video uh, for reference of what to solder and where. Make sure that you put this small black piece back over the cables before you put it in place or the hanger won't fit correctly with the housing here. Now you'll want to slide this right side in first, and then you can snap the left side straight down. Once that's in place, you can go ahead and put the two screws that go in those two holes. you've aligned the housing, go ahead and put the last five screws back in.
Now it's time to solder. Once you're finished soldering, go ahead and connect the battery and we'll test and see if the repair worked. When you plug the battery back in, it may make a high-pitched squeal, which is normal. It's just interference from the speakers being exposed to everything else and uh, once you get the headphones put back together you won't have any issue with that noise. Next we'll go ahead and secure these cables down here and put our tape back over the cables and put the battery tape back on. Now we will reattach the touch panel and then we'll close up the headphones. Once it's in firmly, go ahead and put the cover back over. I'll flip the headphones over. Once you flip the headphones over, go ahead and put the four long screws back into these four spots. Now that the repair is complete, the last step is to put the covers and the ear cushions back on each side. Make sure you line up the part that has the small flat part and the little notch with the top of each side. And that's the entire repair. I hope this was helpful. I hope you're able to fix your headphones. Again, uh, there are multiple links in the description for different parts you may need to purchase to complete this repair or supplies you might need and also the diagram of how to solder the cables back into place. Uh, please feel free to reach out and comment with any feedback and enjoy. Thank you.